Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. In the previous video, we saw how to deploy our Angular application in an AWS S3 bucket using CLI. In this video, we will see how to deploy our Angular application using a CI CD. Uh, particularly, we will see how to set it up in GitLab CI, but this is not a stopper on how to do it on other CIs as well. The same flow exists in other environments. So, let's get started. What we have currently set up is a CI with two different steps. The first one is the installation and the other one is test. And now we will see how to add a third step here, which will perform the deployment to AWS S3 as soon as the installation and the unit tests are green. So let's go to VS Code and we will do the following. In the stages, we need one more stage and this is going to be the deploy. And then here, let's do the following. Let's type deployment. And we have to link the deployment to the correct stage. And this is the deploy. And we also need to have a before script and script. The before script will be responsible to install all the packages from node modules. And then we need to have the actual script. And this is where we will perform the deployment. So again, for this video, we will use this package, the ngx aws deploy. And this is the command npx cross and ng deploy and it has some environment variables. The important topic here is the following that we have here the AWS access key ID, then we have the secret access key, we have the AWS bucket and then we have the region. It is very important never to commit your secret keys in your public repository. Instead, we should create environmental variables and use those. So what we will do is the following. Let's go to the GitLab CI and from the menu on the left, we will go to settings, CI, CD and into the variables, I will expand this. We can create add a variable and provide here the key name and the value. I have already done this step and I have two different keys. The first one is the AWS access key ID and then I have the AWS secret access key. Since we have these environmental variables here, we can use them in our GitLab CI file. So now the command goes like this. ng deploy AWS access key ID and we assign to these the environmental variable that we have just created. And we do the same for the secret access key. And please notice here that we have the dollar symbol in front of the variable name so that we tell the GitLab CI that, you know what, this is an environmental variable. Let's go again to the browser. This is the deployed application and we have here Profanis YT app is running. Now let's go to the app component HTML and we will do a change. App is running and deployed. And let's also update the unit tests. So let's commit the changes. And we expect to see in the GitLab CI three different steps. So if I click the running one, we will see that we have the install unit test and also the deployment. As soon as the installation and the unit tests are green, then the deployment will run. The installation is green, the unit test is green, and the deployment is green as well, which means that if we go here, now we see that we have the app is running, but if we deploy, we expect to see the new title, which is app is running and deployed. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.